A is to pick things up, B is to jump. Welcome to Allison and Tom's wedding celebration. We're also uh, very happy that all of you are here with us today. We know it's really hard for anybody to go anywhere anymore these days. So it means a lot to us that you got on airplanes, you got in your cars, and came here to celebrate with us tonight. So thank you, thank you very much. There are a few people who couldn't be here um, with us tonight and uh, they wrote notes to you guys to send you their best, best wishes and I would like to read those to you. The first one is from William Shakespeare. <laughs> Allison and Thomas are in the very wrath of love and they will go together. Clubs cannot part them. When I was a kid, there was nothing I loved more than a good story. Great adventures of epic heroes going off to do what was right. I would devour every part of it. I'd analyze it no matter if it was a book, movie, or play. I enjoyed the hero's journey and wondered if I could ever be that brave. But there was always a part of these stories that eluded me. It was this concept of falling in love. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like a love story, but falling in love, you know, falling, like into a pit, <laughs> you know, it's like dark and, I mean, you don't know if you're gonna get tetanus down there. I mean, <laughs> it was a lot like 676 a week ago, you know? <laughs> uh. Second one is from uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, who writes, Congratulations, Allison and Tom. May the hair on your toes never fall out. Needless to say, my anxiety written in heart did not like the concept. And subconsciously, I would keep love at a distance with partners. Why put myself through that fear? And then I met you. <laughs> As we embark on this mythic quest, <laughs> I promise to always be faithful and honest to you. I promise to stand by you through whatever life throws our way. I promise to watch all the random videos you send me and open every stubborn jar of spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Allison, I promise to love you with all of my heart and there's no one on this earth that I would rather spend the rest of my life with. And then the, the longest of the messages that came in was from Douglas Adams. He wrote, Allison and Tom, don't panic. <laughs> and, and the last one um, was from Doctor Who, Allison and Tom. There's a lot of things you need to get across the universe. Warp drive, wormhole refractors, but you know the thing you need the most? You need a hand to hold. Like I said, just like in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>